it's Ashton with Pugs and Pearls and today it is time for September favorites. Can you believe it? The month went like that as it always seems to do. And I thought I would go ahead and talk about two things that I actually talked about last time. And I feel like I didn't want to like include them again but then I was like you know what no if they're that awesome you need to know about them so again I have been exclusively using this cover girl foundation this is the three-in-one outlast stay fabulous and I am in the color 820 I just really love this foundation and as you can tell it is getting used up this is my second bottle and again this was a favorite last month and it's a favorite again this month in addition to that this I also shared with you guys last month this is the wet and wild color icon blush and glow trio in fair trade coffee now this was a limited edition um, product that came out this summer but I still see it at Kmart I saw it just this week so I just think that this is a really nice product. Not only is the pigment great, um, the colors are nice, and it really is just a good product because it's three in one. I feel like when I'm in a rush in the morning, it's really easy for me to just use this, put it on, and move along. And so I've really used this a lot this month just because I've been in a rush most days. Okay, on to some new favorites. Um, one is this Becca Cosmetics. Um, skin Illuminating Perfector in the color, what is this one? Rose Gold. And I showed you guys last month I was loving Opal and this month I am loving Rose Gold. I got this for $21 and this is a full size of this product. And it is just a gorgeous rose gold. And it's to me it just is a nice blush topper. It's not as like bright of course as like opal and moonstone are going to be but it's just a really really gorgeous rose gold color and I love it as a topper on my blush and I've been using this one pretty much exclusively for September. Next up we have some lippies and I have four different ones to share with you. Um, the ones that I have been really excited about are by Makeup Revolution and this first one is a Salvation Velvet Lacquer. This is a um, matte lipstick and this is in the shade Keep Lying For You and this is just a beautiful kind of purple pink liquid matte and I really like this. The staying power is not going to last you all day but it definitely is um, going to last you a couple of hours. What happens to me is it starts breaking down when I start eating or drinking a lot like it lasts through my coffee but it won't last through probably eating so you'll have to reapply but honestly for the price these are so cheap and I love this color it is so pretty um, that pinky purple is just I've been into purples a lot but if you guys don't like liquid <laughs> lipsticks this next one from Makeup Revolution will be good for you it's a very very similar pink purple color this is in the shade not one for playing games and again this one is just a um, a regular kind of like lip cream it's not gonna dry matte it's gonna be just um, just kind of a glossy finish and it's actually not to me as pigmented I feel like I kind of have to build this up a little bit to be honest and it's slightly more pinker but it's a cream and again it does not dry matte but again it's a very pretty color and I've liked this one as well too now the next two lipsticks are a combo. I'm actually wearing them today. And this one is a Maybelline Brazen Berry. And this looks so purple in the tube. But it's actually, I feel like, not that bad. Like when you put it on, it doesn't seem... It is very purpley, but it's, it's actually something wearable. Like to work wearable. It's not like out there um, too far out. But what I've been doing is I've been putting this on as a base and then I've been using this as a topper. And this is the Maybelline New York um, Lux, for, Lux in Lilac Color Elixir. And I've been taking this and oh my gosh, it's so glossy. I love this little applicator and I've been put, putting it over um, putting it over the other one. And I just, I don't know, it's been such a pretty... Um, high gloss shine and it just looks again it's that pink purple I've been going for all month long I just I love this combination again I'm wearing it today I just think it's awesome next it's time for eyeshadow and I have one single for you and this is from ColourPop and this is in the shade 
Shark Attack. It's a Super Shock Shadow, and this one came out, I believe, in their summer collection, and I recently got it and hauled it, but oh my gosh, like, I just love this kind of orangey coral color. Um, it is just so pretty to put on the center of your eye. It really does give you that pop of color. And let me see if I can put it down there for you. And I don't know if you can see, it is such a cool color. It is just such a rosy, um, a rosy orange coral. It's so hard to describe, but it's even got kind of some bronze tones in it as well. I don't know. I love it. I think it's a great shadow. Um, just a unique color, and I like that it's unique. Okay, next up for eyeshadow palettes, I have been really enjoying this um, Lorac. This is the Black Skinny Eyeshadow Palette, and it was an exclusive. It was the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale, and it just has the little Lorac coat in it, and this is what it looks like. It is a perfect neutral palette for me for like everyday looks, for transition colors. Um, it's mostly matte except for two of the shades. And I'll be honest, you know, the matte shades are better than the shimmer shades. So I've been using a lot of these like matte shades as transition colors. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but they have really been working out well for me just for really neutral basic looks. The one thing about the eyeshadow palette, and I may go do a review, I don't know if anybody cares to really see all of these swatched, but the one thing I've noticed is that they tend to blend together by the end of the day, so I don't like that. But I think that happens with mattes, and I also think that it's probably not the best eyeshadow Lorac has put out, but I do love the palette. I do think it's a very neutral, wearable, easy travel palette. The next palette I wanted to share with you guys, I recently got. This is the Urban Decay Ammo Palette. And not only is the packaging just gorgeous, I have been really going um, and reaching for this one. And I did a whole review um, on this palette and a mini tutorial, so I will link that above so you guys can go and see it if you want to know more. But I'll be honest, the colors that have really just been fun to play with are Chopper and over here smog and they've got just some really cool colors as well last call is this pretty like deep violet and um, Maui Wowie is also a really bright white um, champagne -y type color but it's actually really versatile but also can put some pop of color in there for you as well uh, I really like it and I've been using this mainly the last part of the month a lot so, you guys, that is it for my September favorites. I hope you enjoyed. I'm so looking forward to October. And let me know if you are doing a September favorites. I'd love to see it. Please let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!